the States on high frequency events. There are five exceptions to that rule. Five exceptions. Exception number one I've already talked about. Complacency. Complacency. I don't care how many times you've done a high-risk pass. The next time you do it is as risky as the first time. The level of risk never changes. Acclimation of risk does change. When high-risk passes become routine, you've got problem lying away. I don't care how many times you've dealt with electrical power. I don't care how many times you've dealt with chemicals. I don't care how many times you've taken a needle off the drug suspect. I don't care how many times you've been on the liner. I don't care how many times you've drove a car. The next time you do it, it's as risky as the first time. Don't get complacent. Another one that worries me is hubris. Don't get cocky. When people start getting cocky, bad things are going to happen. I love confident employees. Cocky employees. Nothing bad can happen to me. That's a problem lying in way. A big one that I worry about is the F word. Fatigue. I wonder how many tragedies in multiple professions have a proximate cause of whatever, but the real problem lying in way was the grossly fatigued employee. It don't be this bad, man. Does fatigue impact decision making? Does fatigue impact critical thinking skills? Does fatigue impact judgment? Does fatigue impact coordination and balance? Does fatigue impact disposition? The answer to all of the above is yes. Another one is distractions. How many problems come from being distracted during the dance? All these cops try to type and drive. These cell phones, the ubiquitous nature of these PDAs. There are many distractions out there that cause us great. And the last one is homeostasis. Sometimes we do things to make people more safe, but in fact, we make them less safe. But even when you factor in those five, it's rare that we make mistakes on the high frequency events. Mistakes are most likely to occur on 